Buongiorno San Marino! Hi guys, my name is EC Robiv2 and today I'm gonna react and discuss the results of the one in 360 uh, which was the San Marino's uh, national selection for Eurovision this year. So San Marino went for a revolutionary project called one in 360 and there has been a very long way of the submissions and the songwriting process choosing those 20 uh, 11 the artists then the songs uh, and then the two hits and in the end we got the final and there's the last saturday the winner was chosen and it's uh, jessica muscat from malta featuring Jennifer Brenning from uh, Germany, from what I remember, um, s with the song Who We Are. So, uh, initially this song was uh, going to be uh, performed by Jessica featuring Eero, but Eero uh, kind of dropped out, it wasn't a uh, song for him. So in the end we have Jennifer Brenning uh, rapping along with uh, the singing Jessica Muska. So those th th that's a combi combination of uh, Malta with Germany and the good voice with uh, rapping. And I'm interested to see what their uh, live performance was look like. So let's go. Who we are by those two talented people. So I must admit that I preferred this song with uh, featuring Eero, to be honest. It was interesting to see, you know, her ra uh, along si singing along with uh, Eero rapping. And, you know, San Marino would have uh, been represented also by San Marinese persons, which would be cool. Jessica is a talented person, that I have to admit. But the song, to be honest, when I listen to the uh, studio version, uh, it's nothing special at all, uh, I must say. Uh, I can't stand the rapping. Eero did it uh, much better. It sounded much better, in general. Uh, this song is just okay, uh, you know, this, it's decent. Mm. If not the, for the vocals of Jessica, it would be, it would have been nothing, totally, complete disaster. And the, the rap going on here, uh, definitely the rap of... Uh, Jalal from Bosnia and Herzegovina two years ago definitely was better uh, fitting in the Lubafier than the Jennifer rapping here. The song has some hook in the chorus. You know who we are. Uh, Jessica can, you know, slay kind of in the song uh, and let her vocals, vocals shine. So, uh, I think the, that San Marino won't be last this year uh, in the semi final, so that's a good sign. Uh, but, no. The song. The song does nothing for me, and I think it won't qualify. Uh, they had much better choices. And. Um, yeah, it's such a long way to go with this national selection and then in the end choosing this. Uh, very disappointing, to be honest. Because you now all the artists 
had potential and had talent but this song isn't that that special you know uh, so far if we look at all the those uh, uh, all the uh, 27 the, the rest of the songs and those are 27 in the total then you can see some you know there's something going on in the songs um, no, there's some uh, melody, there's uh, different voices, there's different genres, uh, there's uh, kind of, you know, international vibe, uh, radio friendly and, and rock and stuff like that, uh, metal, uh, et ethnic uh, melody. And here it's, this is, you know, uh, not even uh, European at all. I feel like it was produced in the uh, USA, which isn't necessarily good, because if it's produced in USA, it should have been, uh, you know, something interesting, something cool. And this song is one of the worst so far, I think. Uh, it's It doesn't have any special moment. Uh, only the like I've said the vocals of Jessica help here uh, but the rest is just you know something going on um, you know the melody is somehow playing and you know the performance is somehow okay the whole package is nothing it's just you know very weak the, the song is weak in general I don't like it San Marino had many better choices than this and in the end they chose a song that probably won't qualify. But of course I wish them uh, good luck uh, and you know I hope they will uh, you know have enough money for the live performance for, for the staging so that uh, you know they have a chance of qualifying. You know this everything will depend on the staging but Considering the, uh, that San Marino is the second semi-final, they will have a, a very tough time to qualify for the final. But anyways, uh, there were some other uh, others in the top three. Uh, third was uh, actually Jennifer Brenning, who is uh, anyways going to Eurovision. Uh, Until the morning light, I love this song. But the song performed by Sarah the Blue, who finished second, was the best. Uh, personally, I think uh, Until the Morning Long was the best song out of these. Uh, like, there was there were less than the twenty songs. Uh, but you know, I, in my opinion, uh, Until the Morning Light, but Sarah the Blue was uh, clearly the best. Her vocals were outstanding. You know she has a crystallic vocals and I hope that uh, Austria chooses her in the future because she has so much potential and with the right song he she could be even in top 10 like you know uh, she has the best potential out of these uh, out of these 11 artists and I'm happy that she was appreciated by the whole uh, televoting and juries and uh, crowdfunding uh, voting and all of that stuff and she finished in the end second uh, the song was also good and would be definitely better with Sarah uh, exceptional and unique vocals but yeah we've got the results and San Marino uh, should be proud that they've uh, gone for su such a project that no one before did. So that's a cool thing to uh, involve people from around the uh, Europe, even world. Uh, there was a guy from Zimbabwe and, and we got to know some, you know, African realness. That's very cool. So in general, the project was great, but they need to rework it so that it uh, it's better with uh, no problems at all, because on the way some problems occurred. So yeah. Uh, and if it 
I would have to place it in my top uh, it's already 28 act in my reaction so I would place it of course last or not I'm thinking between Latvia and San Marino mm. but I can't stand the wrapping part it's so bad it's very annoying okay San Marino is my last like last year uh, last last year uh, so in general like I said it's the worst song definitely um, I hope maybe the staging will change my mind at least a bit so it won't be last because you know San Marino deserves a better song than this in my opinion uh, and you know uh, I, would, I would have preferred Valentina Moneta with a ballad song to this because uh, you know Valentina Moneta is a, is a legend and her fifth appearance would be a pleasure for me because I love her as a person, love her as an artist, she's, she's very talented and I hope she will be c come back uh, next year or uh, over uh, in the next two years, in 2020, in 2020 for example, that would be very cool. Anyways, uh, if you like the video, do the thumbs up. If you want to share your opinion about the whole national uh, final, the national the, this process one in uh, 360 about the winner, what are uh, the song chances and stuff like that, do let me know in the comment section below. If you want to uh, stay tuned for more of my stuff to come, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you can be uh, notified about my. Uh, uploads and activity immediately so thank you for watching guys and see you later bye